In this video, I'm going to show you how to invite new members to a group. So if you are a group owner, you have the ability to invite new group members. And the first thing you want to do is open your group by clicking the name of your group in the My Groups area. So I created this group called Administrative Assistance. Now I'll click on Members to view the Members area. And right now I'm the only person listed as a member and I'm the group owner. So what I want to do is invite new members. So when you're in the members section, you'll see this sub link to invite new members. And there are two ways you can invite new members. You can invite members by email and they'll receive an email letting them know they've been invited and then they can choose whether or not they want to accept the invitation. Or you can add members directly, which would mean they would automatically become a member of the group. They don't need to accept the invitation. Depending on the type of group you're creating, it may be more appropriate to add members directly if it's a group for a certain team and you know that somebody should be on that team. You might want to add somebody by email if it's voluntary, whether or not they want to join the group. Maybe it's just a group for fun or recreation. So to invite members by email, just enter the email addresses of people to invite and the people in your contact list should start to appear as you type their name. And you do need to send some type of invitation message, so this isn't optional. So you should write an invitation message letting them know what the group's about and why you invited them. And then click invite members. And you'll see this message here that invitations have been sent to two people. I can click view to see the people who have been sent the invitation. And once they accept the invitation, they'll show up in the members area. So now when I go back to members, they're not listed yet until they accept the invitation. And I've just logged in as Matthew, who's one of the people I invited to the group to show you what it looks like when he gets the invitation. So it's from no reply and it will say Google Groups, you've been invited to the name of the group. It says that I'm the person who has invited him. Here's that message I just wrote. And then it will include a description of the group. And he can accept this invitation by clicking on this link. If he doesn't click anything, then he doesn't accept the invitation. So there's no reject the invitation, there's only an accept. And now he gets a message that he successfully joined this group. So now I'm logged back in as myself and when I'm in the members area, I see that Matthew is listed here because he accepted the invitation. And again, I am still waiting um, for Jim to accept or not accept. Now. To add members directly, again, you would click invite new members, but you would click on this tab, add members directly. And again, you would add the members directly by typing their email addresses and separating them with commas. Again, you do need to write a welcome message. I can choose to send an email to the new members letting them know that they've been added or I can uncheck this and then they'll just be added but they won't get a notification. I think it's a nice courtesy to send them an invitation. And then I can set up their email subscription options. Do they want to get no email? They just read the messages via the web? Do they want an email for each message or just a summary email for the day? Or one email with all the activity in it for the day? which would be all of the messages and updates. And then I'll click add members and the users can go in later and change their subscription off options. So now I see Holden and Rick listed here. Um, they were automatically added so they didn't need to accept the group invitation. They've automatically been added to the group. So that is how you invite new members to your group, either by sending them an email invitation that they can accept or just by adding them directly. If you ever need to remove members from your group while in the members area, click edit member list and member permissions. And then to remove someone, select their name. And then click unsubscribe and select okay. And then you've unsubscribed them from the group.